let me show you what we don't want to happen under our government, which has been happening since independence. I think it's there. Can you see that graph? I'm not a lecturer. I know one opposition member calls me a lecturer. I'm not a lecturer. Lecturers are somewhere in the institutions of learning. But it's an illustrative point that I want to make. Part of our duty was to stabilize the macro situation. And I'll come to what we've done around there. But this is the biggest ticket, colleagues, fellow citizens. And we must all work together to resolve this ticket and avoid what has been happening. If you check that, it will show you from 1960, if we start, I believe it's 1973 there. 1973, you will see a curve where the economy and bars was going up, growth, following year down. We grew 1974, 1975, the economy declined. It goes on. We grew again, 1980, there about. 1982, the economy went down. So what you see is a flat curve there, almost the economy remaining the same up to 1991. You can't provide for the people. You can't improve lives in that manner. It's there. This is not my figures. These figures come from the Central Bank, Bank of Zambia, and the Minister of Finance. To be specific, we shared this graph as we were attracting investment in London and elsewhere last week, only last week. But the message, you will see what we are driving here. Now, come 1991, we grow in 1993, 1994, we plummet growth, plummeting it. You can go on that period up to, if I may say, 201. 201, you see the economy starts growing. Just be patient. We'll get there very quickly. Take interest. I know citizens, many citizens don't take interest in facts and numbers. You can't run an economy, a country, without this. I know we like to circumvent this. It doesn't work like that. So from 9201, we start seeing consistent growth, consistent growth. consistent growth up to 2010. You see that yourselves. 2011, 2012, we start declining. Please follow that graph. It's very important to the message we will deliver shortly. You see the economy starts going down again. And from 2001, we never had negative growth up to 2010, 2011, 2012. Then after 2012, the, declining, the decline in the growth of the economy commences. And it climaxed with negative growth for the first time since 1995. Please follow what I'm saying. Since 1995, we saw the first negative growth in 19, sorry, in 2020. There you are. You can't pay retirement benefits. I'm sure you are surprised why we were not able to pay retirement benefits in that period, since 2011. I'm sure you are surprised or you are not now that I've shown you that that's why meal allowances were withdrawn from students. That's why, in that period, free education was withdrawn, probably slightly earlier. I'm putting things in context. Now, what else did you see in that period? 
2001 to 2011, we had cleaned the debt. The balance sheet debt came down. 2011, 2012 to 2021, the debt came back with a vengeance. We cannot save our citizens in that way. For the price, man, I feel GDP. What is it, man? I'm a graph. Millennium development goals. Zambia will reach sub chai. Zambia is reaching a massa. We are not a graph. Qua means it's a graph. Qua means it's a good touch. You know, my May let me remind those who don't like graphs and numbers. You can't run a country without numbers. You cannot run a country without numbers. Then you are a joker. You are just a joker. Because you cannot run a country without knowing that if you borrow too much and you consume that money, you get into a debt trap. You have to calculate. You must put most of that money into revenue generating. When you revenue generate, you can then support CDF to a tune of 28.3 million kwacha. That's how it works. You need to know the numbers. Please, you need to know the numbers. You need to work out what the weather is likely to be before November so you can plan properly. And as the drought comes, you do need numbers, please. Otherwise, people will perish. I was on the farm when someone was preaching, talking about graphs and numbers. All we were showing is that this is how we have moved from independence to where we are now. And there's something wrong there which we need to change. That graph shows us that we have not been making the right economic and social decisions. Now we must make the right decisions. We made the right decisions by introducing CDF at this level, 28.3 million kwacha. And you will see that this number, these graphs, will show by 2026, you will see that there will be desks in classrooms. No child will be sitting on the floor. You will see that maternity wings are there and there's water. You will see that the children who were not in school will be in school. You will see that there are enough classroom spaces. That is what numbers do, if you know how to use them. But if you fear numbers, we have introduced free education. We can send you back to school and learn some more. It is my prayer for each and every of you that God may make each one of you his instruments of peace in a landscape of hatred and vengeance. That God makes you instruments of tolerance in a culture of hypocrisy and deception. That God makes you instruments of forgiveness in a dawn of lies and falsehood. That God may make you instruments of discernment and the right judgment in an atmosphere of great provocation. At the close, my dear young people, I wish to state and defend all priests in the Archdiocese of Lusaka in particular and in the world in general. A priest is not a joker, for heaven's sake. A priest is not a joker, for heaven's sake. 
a priest, is a shepherd of God's people. And he lives among his sheep. He knows his sheep as well as their needs. And when he speaks, he speaks from an informed perspective. If you ignore his message, you ignore it at your own peril. Apropos, a joker is a comedian. <laughs> a joker is a comedian who performs for amusement and at a fee. And once he is done, he is paid and he goes off his way. I ask the people of God to judge who is a real joker, a priest? May Mary, our mother, intercede. <laughs> this is not necessary. What wrong did the, the priest do? Just for Mary telling you that people in, in these locations, they don't understand the graphs. All they understand is when you provide food on the table for them, as per your promise, and it becomes a Lucifer, come on, I am at pain. The Zambian people are at pain. But we want to warn you, the ruling party, that you are not going to win over this. If you think you are going to intimidate us to a place where we cow, cow, where, where we, be, we, we, we fold our hands and watch you continue to do as you please, you are mistaken big time. Stop that. It's not necessary. These priests that you are insulting, they are men of God. And they live with the people in these locations. And hence, they know the sufferings that the people are going through. That's why they are talking. And they haven't started talking now. They have been talking even before Mr. Aka Indra was born. So you cannot be calling them Lucifer for just saying that they didn't insult. Was what is was what he said uh, false? No, what he said is true because even me I didn't understand those graphs because they were flawed graphs. Okay, and this is not the first time that he, the president was uh, issuing a false graph. Okay, that was false. Do you want us to bring hundred uh, economists, uh, independent economists, to come and tell you that those were false graphs? Okay. It's not necessary. They, as a ruling party, you shouldn't be in the forefront of promoting the culture of insults.